peace. Just your boy Jay every day. And the topic for this discussion is Taylor Swift and her cover of Earth Wind and, Earth, Wind and Fire song September. Um, as usual, when people do some dumb shit, Twitter roasts you for it. And to be honest with you, Taylor Swift deserved it. While I'm not a fan of her music per se, I'm not that much of a dickhead or a hater to recognize that the girl has talent. Just because something isn't my cup of tea, that doesn't mean I can't recognize good music is good music. So she tries to do this folksy um, acapella version of September. And it's just one of those things that you don't try to remake because it sounds fucked up and it's not in the spirit of the original song. And of course, she had her supporters and people saying, oh, it's this, it's this, it's this. But bullshit is bullshit. You can't fool people. And people were trying to make a false equivalency and were saying, well, what about when Whitney Houston did Dolly Parton's song, I Will Always Love You? And it's like, listen to both versions. If you're going to remake something, you either do it as good or you do it better. As in the case of Whitney Houston or when KC from Jodeci remake Bob, remade Bobby Womack's If You Think You're Lonely Now song. And on another, just on real talk, some, some shit doesn't need to be remade. And, you know, sometimes people, oh, you're just picking on her because she's white, just this, this, and the third. Here, I, I can name four or five white songs that, that shouldn't be remade either. How about the Eagles Hotel California? Motley Crue's Home Sweet Home. Bon Jovi's Dead or Alive. Metallica, Enter the Sandman. Aerosmith, I don't want to close my eyes. That fucking song from Armageddon. While it may not be my taste in a, in a particular genre of music, I can recognize what that song is and how it doesn't need to be remade by somebody else. Like I said, music is music. Music is universal. Good music is good music. Now, I know a lot of people like to throw around that culture vulture shit and all of that. I'm definitely not going to do that because, number one, I think it's a waste of time. And number two, um, and some people don't have a fucking clue. And that goes to Taylor Swift. Because if Taylor Swift had a clue, some of the decisions she makes, she wouldn't. So, with that being said, I thought the whole idea of the September cover was terrible. It sounds like shit. And no matter how much the dominant society tries to take up to her, and shout out to uh, Tariq Nasheed for coining that term dominant society. I don't want to uh, just bite something somebody says without giving me proper accreditation to the person who coined this particular term. So shout out to Tariq Nasheed for that. But that September shit was some bullshit. 
but when you're within a dominant society and you live in a bubble you don't have people around you that would tell you yo shorty don't make don't remake that song because I don't think most Caucasian people really understand the magnitude of what that song really means to black people and what Earth, Wind, Fire means to black people. That's why I tried to make the equivalent of, for instance, the Bon, jo uh, bon Jovi song, Dead or Alive. And to be honest, it's a great fucking song. But it puts you in a frame of mind and, and in a time and space where it's like, yeah, I, I feel him on that shit. And so, yeah, don't fucking touch the song. Don't remake it. But see, you're not going to have people make that, that tan tangential argument because it's, oh, you're picking on Taylor Swift, you're being mean, <clears throat> that whole victimhood bullshit that she's been milking since Kanye's dumbass interrupted her speech, which, honestly, he was wrong. He, he might have been right in the statement, but he was wrong for doing that shit to her fuck you gonna get mad at her for winning a, a fucking moon man from MTV that's the inconsequential bullshit that Kanye West be on sometimes but with that being said Taylor Swift you fucked up can't take it back it's out there in the universe now Maybe if you hung around some other people or had some different perspectives, somebody would have been there to tell you, don't remake that song. Every song, every movie isn't meant to be rebooted and remade. Our society has become fucked up because that's the first thing they always want to do is well let's re let's remake or reboot or reimagine this whatever it is and it's some bullshit if you did something and it had its run and it's over with it's over for a reason you don't want to make something new because you lack originality and you lack the testicular fortitude to try something new that's why there's TV shows out here that's killing the game Amazon got some new shit out here very good series Showtime very good series because that billion shit is probably one of the best shows on TV. The Blacklist. Excellent TV show. I even watched that new... Even though they remade or they did a reboot of Lost in Space, I give the creators of that credit because here, I'm not just going to... I'm going to reimagine... A old property and do it completely different and the show wasn't that big of a hit and it wasn't that successful so sometimes you can do a reboot of something if the first one was shit which it was but by redoing it putting a different spin on it and truly developing the character arcs within the story it actually wasn't bad. So with that being said, 
you know, you fucked up, you made some bullshit, and, you know, you got roasted for it. Happens to everybody. Just that, you know, you're one of the biggest pop stars on the planet, so when it happened to you, everybody just happened to see it. So, that should have get buried, and, you know, that whole concept and her whole wave is going to be over with. Got to start coming better, because the little girls that grew up listening to Taylor Swift are starting to realize that you know, you're on that bullshit. So with that being said, I'm a peace out. Hope you enjoyed this brief topic. I just had to say something about that because it was some bullshit. And I know Maurice White is turning over in his grave. And for whoever it was, his record company or whoever it was to sell him out and allow her to do that shit. They should be ashamed of themselves, but I'm not surprised. So, there you go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, put a comment in. Tell me how you feel about the content so far. Peace. I'm out.